Hi everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, my name is Rebecca and I'm so glad to have you guys back. I want to try to upload as much as I can this semester and I want to try to get my YouTube channel running a little bit and get as much great content as I can for you guys. But today is going to be a very, very simple video. So what I have here is my lipstick bag. Look at how cute it is. And today, I will be trying out every single lipstick I own. Now starting off, um, I just woke up so that's why my voice is a little raspy. My lips are not moisturized or anything so they're a little bit dry right now. I'm going to take my lip balm and just put some lip balm over it to moisturize my lips before I try on any lipsticks. So this is the Fuku Fuku Lip. I got this from Japan. It is a yuzu scented lip balm. It has a plant-based oil that delivers long-lasting moisture to your lips. It's very glossy and very sheer and I really love how it just accentuates the natural color of my lips. Moving on, I will just dump all my lipsticks out on the table first. So first off, we have these types of lipsticks. I call them my crayon lipsticks because they look like a crayon. So the first one is the Silky Girl Lecker Lip Color Balm in the shade 04 Salsa. And it's a very nice orange shade. I got this back home from Malaysia and as you can see, I use it quite a lot because it's very skinny. And that's how it looks like on my lips. It's very bright pop of color and I think it matches very well with my complexion. If you guys like orange shades, I definitely recommend this. And if you like something that's very moisturizing, this is really good. But then again, as you can see, it really doesn't stay on very long. So I have to keep reapplying this like throughout the day. I don't mind it as much and it smells really good as well. Smells sort of chocolatey, interestingly, but yeah, if you guys want something like this, this is totally fine to me. Now, I don't exactly remember where I got this lip balm from. I know it's in the shade Indiana, but you know what? Editing Rebecca, please put the name here. I'm sure you can find it somewhere in my older videos. It's a very nice dusty road shade. The dusty rose shade. Did I say dusty road? <laughs> Apologies. It's very affordable and it's also very sheer, crayon-like as well, which is fun. And here is the shade on my lips. I've wiped most of the orange off, so this is just the Dusty Rose. And that is the shade on my lips. As you can see, it really does just accentuate your natural lip color and it gives a very nice shade to it. I wouldn't say this is my favorite out of the lot. At one point, I really liked it because I found it very natural and I wore it out a lot. But it's not very long lasting either, so I have to keep reapplying this and it doesn't smell as good as the Silky Girl one. This smells sort of chalky, like an actual crayon. So it's not very... it's not bad. Like, I'd say I can stand it, but it's not good either. And yeah, that definitely comes out quite a lot. It does make a very good blush shade though. If you put more of it on your skin and dab it out, it becomes a very nice washed out blush. Next up are my Maybelline Super Mattes. I used this in my last video where I tried out makeup techniques that I haven't tried before. Go and check out that video if you haven't already. But these are the Maybelline Super Mattes. I'm just gonna make this here. And they look so pretty. The packaging is matte as well. It looks so high-end and these are the shades at the bottom. We have four different shades today. I believe there are more in the range, but I only have four. We'll start off with the lightest color. This is 125 Inspire. I don't usually use this a lot just because I don't like um, lipsticks that lighten my lips, but I'm just gonna try it out for you guys to see. This is 125 Inspirer on me. This is how it looks like. I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. 
I've used this once and I really didn't like it, but now it's looking pretty nice. Actually, no, I don't really love this. It's a bit too vibrant and it pops out a bit too much for me, but it is a really nice bright pink shade. So if you like bright lipsticks, this is definitely great. And comes off once. It's getting less. And it's all still on, so it does transfer a little bit. If you give it some time to dry, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it won't transfer. But everything still stays on. It still looks great even though it's transferred. Now, another thing to note is this smells like chocolate. It smells absolutely amazing, but it's very dry on your lips. So make sure to moisturize your lips beforehand or your lips are going to peel for sure. I've got most of the pink off. There's still remnants of it because of how strong the lipstick is. But I'm just going to go into the next shade, which is 155 Pathfinder. This is a darker pink shade and it looks like this. Really pretty. The applicator is also so good. Now, again, this isn't a shade that I would wear every day. It's very bright, very vibrant, and it definitely doesn't suit my style, but it's still a very pretty shade, and I would probably mix this with a different lipstick to create like a gradient or something. That's what I usually do with the super matte. But yeah, still really good. Still transfers but it's on my lips, so I don't mind it as much. It is getting harder and harder to wipe these lipsticks off, so I'm sorry if my lips look like a complete mess right now. The next shade is 117 Groundbreaker, and this is by far one of my favorite shades in the Super Matte range. I saw it and I was like, yes. So this is the red on my lips. I love this so much. A good red lip is always really great. This stays on. It makes my teeth look so white. I can already feel it latching to my lips. Like this is going to be hard to take off. But yeah, definitely one of my big recommendations is this lipstick. If you ever want to get a super matte, if you want a really great red lipstick, 117 is a great shade. Well, this red isn't coming off. I don't blame it, it says super matte, it's supposed to be super long lasting, so I don't blame it at all, but we're gonna move on to the next shade. Anyway, this is a darker shade, so it won't affect it as much. This is 85 Protector, and it's a brown shade. This smells just like dark chocolate and coffee. That's what it smells like, it smells like tiramisu or something, it smells so good. This is what the lipstick looks like on me. It's so beautiful. This is such a unique shade and I love it. Um, one thing to note is that it takes several coats to really get the color on. It's not like a one coat thing. I had to like go in there a few times to really get the coverage and even then I can still like see bits of it where it's not covered and I can still see my natural lip color. But you know what? This is still really good. It smells really good. This is making me want to eat it right now, and that's not a good idea, so I'm gonna take it off. Now, going back to my normal lipsticks, I have four of them here with me. The first one I wanna try is Youngblood um, lipstick in the shade Vixen. This is a really nice red shade. It is, I'm pretty sure this lipstick is expired because I've had it for so long, so. I can't really tell you how the quality is because I'm pretty sure this isn't the original quality. It's a very bright red shade. It's very pretty, although it's very dry. And I know why it's dry, it's because I've been having this for way too long. Moving on though, I have the Chifure lipstick in the shade 744. This, I used to use this like every single day when I went to college. 
I don't anymore because of lockdown, but and because of COVID-19 and having to wear a mask all the time. But this is so good. You have to reapply it like five times a day. But I don't mind it because the color is gorgeous. Look at that. It's this really beautiful dusty orange shade that pairs so well with my skin. I love it. I just love it. I don't care if I have to reapply it all the time. I love it. The next shade that I'm going to try is this Maybelline in the shade Midnight Date. It is the Maybelline Loaded Bowls. Loaded Bowls. <laughs> Did I say bowls? But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's a really dark red shade. This is such a pretty color and you know, I am going to get a lip gloss soon and once I get it, I'm gonna put it over this color and I will look like I have had a vampire lip. And I like to pair this with the brown Maybelline um, Super Matte as well. These two together create such nice dark gradient lip and I love it. I love it. It's, your lips are gonna be super dry though, so remember to put like gloss over it so it like moisturizes your lips or use lip balm before putting these on because your lips are going to die if you do not. My lipstick is starting to stain like all over. But anywho, we are on our last lipstick and this is the Maybelline Matte Siren in Scarlet. I have used this so much in all my videos and it is so good and it's such a pretty bright red color if you guys can't already tell i'm really into reds and oranges in terms of lipsticks this is such a pretty red color it applies so easily. It, is, it also gives me this very pastel look in real life. And you can use this to gradient your lips. You can pair this with literally anything. I love this. Um, my mom scolds me because I use this way too much. And she's like, please switch up your lipstick. But I love it. I love it so much. Maybelline lipsticks are honestly so good. And I do want to try different brands in the future like Romand. I've heard they have really good lip tints. I do want to try like K-Beauty brand but for now I mean like I use so much Maybelline it's actually crazy but thank you for watching guys this is today's video it's very simple it's just trying out my different lipsticks my favorite lipsticks are the this um, Maybelline Super Matte in 85 it smells like burnt chocolate this orange silky girl I love the red, siren, and scarlet, and chifore. These four are ones that I can use almost every day. Probably not the brown one, actually. I just like the brown one because it's unique, but I won't use it every day because it doesn't fit my aesthetic and my cottage core, like fairy core feels. And please hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, the notification bell if you want to get notifications. And feel free to follow me on Instagram and also on TikTok. You know, basically all my social media is on my link tree in my bio and also in the description section below. I'll also put the different lipsticks down there in the description box. Um, I'm also a YesStyle influencer, so if you want to get anything from YesStyle, this is my code. Um, please use it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Let me know if you want to see any different kinds of videos. Bye!